Hello and welcome to another monthly roundup. Um, gosh, this month has gone so 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 quickly. I can't I can't believe um, it's August a week today. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's madness. Um, I think possibly because I've had a couple of weeks out, uh, one for my amazing retreat, and then I've just come back from holiday as well, which has been absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it's been a really, really chocker, chocker, chocker month. Um, lots of relaxation, which has been lovely. And um, I think the highlight was definitely the retreat that I had at the beginning of, of July. Um, 12 people from well, from all around the world, join me. Um, we had, we booked out the whole of the hotel in Massam, the White Bear in Massam, and um, we just had the most fantastic, fantastic week. Lots of drawing, lots of talking, um, lots of emotions, lots of tears, um, fabulous food, just really, really amazing company for, um, you know, those few days. It was really, really super. And it wasn't just, you know, coming and drawing. We had all sorts of things going on, did some little sessions. Um, I got my, uh, my yoga lady came along and, um, you know, I did one-to-ones with everybody and we had some sort of confidence sessions and it was just, it was really, really fantastic. The venue was brilliant, the company was brilliant, it was just super. So, um, not sure when the next one's, next one's going to be. I think it's probably going to be next year and I think it may well be um, outside of the UK, which is exciting. We're looking at somewhere in France, um, a big, big, big uh, place. So, that's really really exciting and then of course I launched my my uh, my newest course my super simple colored pencils course which has been um, flying off the shelves uh, as they say uh, lots and lots of people have um, have sort of taken the opportunity to, uh, to to purchase it and to do it and I've been seeing some amazing uh, results from it as well which is fantastic um, that was a, a course that I I created just for real basics in coloured pencil. I think sometimes, you know, when you get to sort of a level and you've been doing coloured pencils for quite a while, you kind of you kind of forget that, you know, there are some real basics that people need to or want to know. Um, and um, that's why I created that course, which, uh, like I say, has gone down really, really well, which is brilliant. Um, and then, of course, I have my lovely holiday. Oh, my goodness. So... Um, we went to Corfu and we um, we booked a lovely villa and we went to the southeast of the island and um, we got there very late on the Friday night and I'd booked a car so originally I booked transfers but we decided that we were going to book a car because it looked like there was quite a long walking distance between, you know, to get to tavernas and shops and everything. So we decided well, we'll, we'll book a car. So we picked this car up and I haven't driven on um, the wrong side of the road, shall I say. <laughs> I haven't driven on the right side of the road. Um, gosh, I think it was in the 80s. I think it was the 80s the last time I drove abroad and of course I was in a uh, a right hand drive uh, right hand drive left hand drive um and <laughs> so we had to drive it was probably it was probably about a 40 minute drive from the airport to the villa um we had good instructions and of course we had lovely um google maps and everything like that and um I don't think I got out of second gear all the way there uh, it was terrifying. I had my two children in the back um, telling me what a dreadful driver I was. I lost all kind of spatial awareness, so I have no idea whether I was too close to the, to the right-hand side or not. And I'm thinking, oh my God, and then people were just stopping and, and people were overtaking me and beeping them on. <laughs> it was like a totally and utterly rubbish, rubbish driver. So, uh, yes, so honestly, <laughs> it was awful and then we got to where the villa was and luckily I'd done some googling and I'd taken some photographs of where our villa actually was and being on the southeast side it's um it's a little bit lower down um the west side seems to be more and the north seems to be a little bit more craggy um and we were we were on the coastal road but it was quite low down so the sea was quite quite near and um so we got to where the villa was 
and I was thinking, well, how do we get to it? I, could, I know where it is, but how do I actually get to the villa? Well, it was this, we called it the road of death, um, about a 70 degree angle, probably wasn't 70 degree at all, but it felt like, it felt like a 90 degree angle, to be honest. Um, and it was made of sort of, um, well, it was unmade and it was just lots of small rocks, um, <laughs> all together with, um, kind of, twists and turns and trees dotted around so it was like a bit of an assault course to get round and you literally just had to put your foot down and hope for the best so we shot up this hill in first gear um you know probably about 11 o'clock at night um rocks going everywhere i think probably the car kind of bottomed a few times as well and then we kind of skirted around these trees and then we ended up coming to a very abrupt halt in front of our um in front of our villa <laughs> The villa was absolutely beautiful, really, really, really beautiful. Um, it was uh, very open plan. It had some really weird um, statues and artwork. Uh, uh, if you watch um, Stranger Things, uh, it was a little bit like that. There were, it was driftwood, so it was driftwood sculptures, um, but very, very strange. Um, I mean, lovely in their own right, but <laughs> they were a bit odd. Um, but the, you know, it was big, it had lovely open plan and the pool was beautiful and the pool had the most amazing outlook uh, over the um, over the sea. And it was just absolutely lovely. And we had such a nice time. And uh, my um, my older sister joined us a few days later with her husband. And, um, and it was brilliant. We found some gorgeous tavernas and we went swimming in the sea and we bought snorkels and all of that kind of stuff and it was just really really lovely um the last day we did a bit of a road trip and um I, I was properly driving like a greek using my horn all of the time and overtaking people who were going slowly and <laughs> around all of the tiny little hairpin bends oh my god because we went over the top of the we went from the east to the west over the top of the mountains and uh, so that was that was pretty scary um through a couple of potholes but luckily we were all right goodness mate honestly when you hit a pothole you really know about it don't you um so we had a really lovely time and then we got home four o'clock on saturday morning our plane was uh, delayed a couple of hours um which was it was okay I, I got my timings wrong and we got to the airport four hours early <laughs> <laughs> which probably exacerbated all it probably loads of other people did that as well cues weren't that bad to be honest um and um yeah and then we were delayed another two and a half hours and it was like oh no but uh yeah we got home got home on saturday morning which was great and then um promptly um booked another holiday because <laughs> i had such a nice time um so uh, yeah so it's all been it's been a, a bit of a, a strange month really because I've had two weeks where I've been almost totally totally out of things and thank goodness for my amazing small team who have sort of kept things going and and all of that kind of stuff it's been you know they're they're, they're just brilliant absolutely brilliant um so and I've had a few really good podcasts as well this month I'm just trying to think who who we've had we've had the lovely Louise who um is my financial consultant uh, you know definitely worth listening to there's been lovely Jessica um who such a lovely girl honestly if you haven't listened to that podcast you really should she's she's fabulous and then there was Sarah Gray and then I'm thinking who else was there I can't think who else there was um they all go they all go by <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't keep up and I've got some other really really nice people that I'm going to be um I'm going to be interviewing this week as well which I'm quite excited about so and then drawing wise um done I finished the little girl in the scarf um I've done a few commissions I've just started in another commission um I'm going to be doing some botanical work um, which I'm quite excited about. Um, I've got halfway through drawing the line art. Oh my goodness, sunflowers. My, so it's my own photo, sunflowers in a glass, cut glass vase. I, I don't know who thought that was going to be a good idea, but anyway, the um, I spent about two hours doing half of the line art and I was like, oh, this is just going to have to wait. So I'm going to have to carry on doing that at some point. Um, but uh, I might just do one sunflower and forget about the cut glass vase. That sounds a bit too tricky. Um, and then I've got some more people uh, portraits to do as well, which again, I'm really, really excited about. And of course, the Academy opens at the beginning of September. I can't believe it's just um, over a month away. Um, that's really, really exciting. Um, 
you know, I've got some new additions coming in the form of sort of guides and stuff like that. Um, I think every time we open the doors, we try to make things a little bit easier and better. And I always listen to what my members feedback is and try and act on it if I can um, you know so if you're planning on joining the the academy in September and I really hope you are uh, it's all going to be amazing honestly it's it's a it's a brilliant platform absolutely brilliant platform um, it's so easy to navigate everything's there um, and and we've got a fantastic community as well so you know hopefully will you will join me um, so that's about it for me Dogs are all okay. Nellie's at the uh, at the hairdressers. She missed uh, a haircut last time, uh, sort of five weeks ago, because she was in season. Um, so she's looking very woolly. I'm expecting her to come back looking like um, I don't know a shorn sheep. I think. <laughs> she's gonna look very skinny uh bless her um so yeah so she's at the hairdressers and she'll be back swimming again on um on wednesday she has her, her hydrotherapy and then slipper and vinnie are just um you know just normal i think they missed her slipper slipper refused to eat for a couple of days while we were off on holiday um but um i think the sunday lunch that she got the chicken and roast what did she have chicken roast potatoes and uh and yorkshire pudding she had on the um on the sunday night and that got her eating again <laughs> We always have Sunday lunch together, it's so funny. They sit there waiting for, they have their normal tea and then on a Sunday they always have a Sunday Sunday dinner as well, um, which they love. Um, so yeah, all's good, all's good. Um, uh, we're decorating again next week, so my living room's being done this time. I'm getting rid of some furniture, so I've got a huge van out in the front of the house. Um, somebody came to collect a piece of furniture, which I completely forgot about, and then they turned up. And I was like, oh, hello, <laughs> we've come to get your family. Oh, yes, OK. Uh, anyway, they've gone back to get some Allen keys so uh, so they can take it apart. And then the garden is being um, sort of redone, done, landscape, whatever you want to call it, in August again, which is really, really exciting. So um, lots of things, lots of things happening. We've been here 17 years this year in this in this house. And, um, you know, we've done quite a lot to it, but it's the room that's been decorated at the moment hasn't been decorated since 2007. Um, you know, so it's it's definitely time, definitely time. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and the, next, the, the other exciting thing is, I'm hoping it's going to be exciting, I have some new glasses on the way, which I'm um, a little bit giddy about. I really hope they look OK. Um, so next time you see me uh, face to camera, hopefully I'll be wearing my new my new glasses. So I think I'll look quite different because they're very different to these ones. So we shall see. Um, but um, yes, nice to catch up with everybody. Hope everybody's okay. Thanks as always for your amazing support. Lots of exciting things um, happening in the background. Lots of things that I'm working on. And um, I will see you all very soon. <laughs>